Welcome to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm Nye, and it is time for us to go ahead and jump on this train. We've accomplished everything we need to do in Twilight Town, so it's time for us to progress the storyline and see where it's going to take us in our hunt for Riku. Well, and the king. So, let's board the train. Let's get on the train. We are all ready for our journey. And we'll have a okay. quick little cutscene of everybody let's letting go. us go off. Bye. Hey, Sora. You sure we haven't met before? Not quite. Well, a part of Sora has met you. Why do you ask? Just remind him of someone he knows. I don't know. Sort of. Remember, your hearts are connected. Because, you know... Bah. Sora, why are you crying? Huh? Mind explaining that? It's a bit creepy. You okay? It, yeah. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> Pull it together. Yeah, Wait. Sora will be fine. See ya. Don't worry. Sora will see you guys eventually. Close goes the door, and off goes the very Disney-looking train. It's kind of sweet that the three of them, who only just met Sora, Donald, and Goofy, actually see them off, you know? Off they go. And the three of them don't seem all that happy about it. Or to really understand exactly why they did what they just did. You know, seeing them off and all that jazz. Cut into the actual train itself. And Sora seems a little bit melancholy. Just a bit. Just a snooch. More than just a bit melancholy, really. But now he gets to, you know, muse over how he has the same pouch as Olette did. And that really weird blue marble in there that uh, gives rise to really soft and fuzzy feelings. You know? Huh? What? I'm sad. About what? We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. It's cool that uh, Sora can make such a personal collect uh, connection that quickly. And now we have officially left Twilight Town and are traveling on interspace uh, railroad tracks off into the great yonder. Yep. That train is a between worlds vessel, just like the gummy ship. Kind of cool. And, you know, you kind of expected that. It wasn't just a train. And now we have passed through. No, this is not Legend of Zelda Spear Tracks. This train is not going to be uh, being that much of a uh, uh, part of our lives from here on out. And now we have a very, very tall tower. Looks like a wizard's tower. Only wizards have weirdly looking towers like that. Could it be Merlin? Well, the train's left, so we're not leaving that way. <laughs> there goes our ride. Even Sora realizes that's kind of odd. Okay, well, those two are just walking around, so we know that, to a lesser or greater extent, this area is safe from enemies. Though I do see a big palooka over there, standing on the stairs. Let's go ahead and snag ourselves a few treasure chests. Potions and high potions, wonderful. We, uh, our, uh, little command, uh, menu has changed again. As soon as we get close, that big oaf starts a little bit of a cutscene for us. Who are you, and what are you doing? Oh god, I know that voice. To see if the master of this here tower's as big and tough as they say. Lackeys. is, he's a real powerful sorcerer. Which would make him and why are you telling us all this? For me. See, it don't and why would he work for you? You're gonna make us a heartless? Right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. 
Why, with all Thanks for recapping that for us. My dear friend Maleficent is going to conquer everything. And Not anytime soon. Me a debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless, special for her. Yeah, we kind of beat her. You pipsqueaks anyway. Go on, She's I'm behind schedule as it is. You're, You're not doing anything for her. To do. Oh, like who? baking cakes. Oh, hey, look, it's Pete. Oh, it's you. Pete? They seem to know exactly who he is, too. Doing here? What are you doing here? You he just it? told you. We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. His As a nemesis of Goofy, it makes sense. Another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. With Maleficent's <laughs> help. You want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out. That's how. And now, see, no told you. World, no, no, no. All the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. You and, uh, or Maleficent? Gonna help me conquer them. Maleficent. Yeah, she's not helping oh. you much. <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's we kind of beat the crap out of Maleficent so last uh, in the other huh? game. Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? She's kind of dead-ish. So you're the ones that did it. Well, apparently he already knew about this. Heartless squad, round up! Oh God, they report to. Orders now. Okay, so he's gonna throw shadows at us? This song that's playing right now usually plays when something frivolous is about to happen. Like, say, beating a couple of shadows. We have, you know, we have faced dark sides. We have faced masters of darkness. We have done a lot of stuff. Shadows, they don't scare us. Come here, you guys. Use guys. And Donald's kind of making his stuff go. We have completed our uh, attack here. No, remember, when we complete any of those events, we do gain all the money and everything in the area. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So I wouldn't use that word. Who lives in this tower anyway? Mighty sorcerer, you told us, right? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's Yen Sid, huh? I know that name. Now. I think he'll be fine. Well, Donald seems particularly excited about this. And he's just going to rush on in. That's probably not going to end well. Wow, sounds powerful. And we just leave because we don't care. Bye, Pete. Yeah, we don't care about you, Pete. When they say the king's teacher, that's another uh, another callback to uh, the, the movie Fantasia. Oh, come on. There's a treasure chest out there. And we're going to have to return here later. So Yen Sid was the king's teacher in the... Uh, maybe there wasn't one. This is also considered to be Twilight Town, by the way. Um, yeah, he was the uh, king's teacher in the uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice mini-movie in the start. You know, where... Uh, Mickey used a bunch of, uh, should I save here? I should probably save here. Where Mickey used a magic wand to make a bunch of, uh, brooms do his bidding and do all of his chores for him so he wouldn't have to do it. Yen Sid was the really old and severe looking man who actually owned the wand and the hat in the first place. So apparently, he's here. We should probably be worried about this. Hmm. Come on, load up faster. I really don't know why it does this. Okay, I'm actually now about a save uh, about a save ahead of previous save files. Okay, time to go up. But Yen Sid's uh, tower is a little bit weird. It's big, it's empty, and there's Heartless everywhere. It's fine, you know. I don't care. I don't care about shadows. And Donald actually starts with a heal spell, so, you know, I don't have to care this time. Okay, get rid of this guy, and now we continue on up. I find myself accidentally hitting L2 and R2 to swing the camera around, because I'm so used to Kingdom Hearts 1 by now. But, you know, I kind of prefer to have the uh, right stick do its own thing. 
Okay, we got Heartless to defeat once again. But, you know, they're... One Welcome back. We're talking about shadows here, so I'm not too concerned here. These guys are some of the easiest of the easy when it comes to any enemy in the room. Even if they're all, you know, tons of them, even if we have 20 or 30 of them. Still easy. Okay. And that's complete. So now we can move our way out of this room. Plenty of Heartless in here, though. And that door insists that we go up. Thank you, camera, for showing us exactly where I should be going. Or I could go to the door that goes down. But that doesn't sound like that would be quite as useful. So, up we go. Tower, wayward stairs, okay. Yeah, it's kind of the cool thing about the little command menu over there. It's actually showing the very hat that got uh, Mickey in trouble in the first place. You can kind of see some of the stairs that we'll be going to eventually. Why can't this guy just have a normal tower? Why did it have to be this weird, spooky wizard tower? Into the next room we go. Let's see, what are we going to find in this room? More shadows and a soldier. Wonderful. Soldiers uh, have been upgraded a little bit. They are actually, I'm not going to say they're hard nowadays, because that's not, a, not exactly the truth, but they do have a little bit more power behind them. And take care of that, and we'll move on. They actually have a reaction command to themselves. I actually just kind of interrupted it by hitting that soldier at the exact right time. The Cyclone Reaction Command. Ooh, got another maximum AP increase, but I have nothing to use it on. It's very hard to see what Cyclone actually does, I know. But the uh, soldier kind of just dashes at us, and we dodge it and then swing back around and attack from the side. Everywhere. Well, it's a good thing. Yeah, can't have sleep that the... long, huh? So the worlds aren't at peace after all. Sora, Donald, Goofy, Heartless Busters. Evidently not. Well, let's get back to work. Let's see. Nope, no treasure chest in here. So let's go ahead and go up these stairs. I think this is actually the last set of stairs right here. Do we have... Yes, we do have some more Heartless. But no big deal. Easy fights each. Go ahead and work our way through here. There's a couple guys there. Let's get this guy here. Wonderful. Okay. And now we will continue on our way up into the final room. Maybe get some answers. And get some of the coolest stuff in the game. And they salute, they bow, because behind the camera is Master Yen Sid. As I said, a very severe looking wizard. Hey there. Sora, show some respect. Yeah, Neil. So or not, apparently Yen Sid doesn't give a damn. Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we yeah, we saw him some hours ago. To talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite... I don't think he actually had a voice in the original, uh... Therefore, it would seem that the task... Yep, of killing the Heartless. ...you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey Instructing, ahead. huh? You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another Are you gonna quest? give me stuff to prepare me? I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku... Yay! ...so we could go back to the islands... Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, he knows everything. is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the island... Is it truly? Whether you will return alone or with your friend. And whether or not... It all depends on how much of a badass you are. still be there. And the key that connects oh, joy. them all is you, Sora. I'm the key? Or the thing in your right hand. No, the key is the key blade. Yep, that right hand of yours. See? Key. Chosen wielder of the key Isn't it amazing how that works? 
You are the key that will open the door to light. Wonderful. When does that happen exactly? Now, what next, Yen Sid? What will you reveal to us? Well, he's going to reveal to this us a book. Can't be as good as the Book of Pooh, of course. Journey. Study it carefully. And that we will, Once sir. That finish, we will. We will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. Sure. Sounds like fun. Okay, let's uh, ignore Yen Sid for a minute. There. Because I see a treasure chest. And it's a big one, too, which usually means a map or something else really important. Okay, I can't go through that other door yet, so let's actually go ahead and look at the book. Oh, uh, this is it just... We don't care. Uh, I'll go through this real quick. All this tells you is about... Uh, it's a bunch of cryptic nonsense. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. Those chosen by the light or ensnared by the darkness, friends who share their same bonds, though their paths may suffer. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Cryptic Nonsense. The Interlude. A long dream, a sad farewell, hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality, what is illusion, the path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion will end. Each of these kind of describes, uh, you know, the games in some short way. You know, the first one was Kingdom Hearts 1, that was a small blurb about uh, Chain of Memories and future stories about this game, which could be mildly important, but make really only makes sense once you beat the game. Will the day come when this battle, born of confusion, will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid, and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories, and by and by, your fleeting rest will be over, and everything will begin. Well, that was helpful, and answered so many questions. Thank you, Master Yen Sid. Now, would you remind telling me the rest? Yeah, I read it. I I'm, I'm happy. But can you, you know, progress the storyline so I can actually go and get my rewards? Your past endeavors because the darkness still exists. The fusion of heartless from the great darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every yep. heart. The heartless are fewer. But yeah, it does just vanish. It's still there. Single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must so be we're gonna be fine them forever. Heart was full of light, them heartless would go away. If that was actually possible, yes. Time but that'd be no bad guys. Enemies that you will encounter. Yep, time to learn about these guys. First, ourselves. Wait, no. First, the heartless. Yields to the darkness in their heart, and they too will become a heartless. But you know this, and that's how heartless are created. Heartless yeah, we knew about that already. Could you tell us about uh? To capture new hearts, never let your guard down. They're like zombies. Then, they just make more of them constantly. At time, this is the new enemy type. Heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless. The empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. And that's where these guys come in. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see... No bodies do not truly this guy just keeps talking. exist at all. No bodies may seem to have And that is a nobody. This is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. Don't be mean to them, man. No bodies. Some of them do exist. have feelings, I'm sure. 
know that. And now Sora's remembering something. The being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of name And body. we care about the name, why? But there are others. Yeah, some slaughtered a good 30 or 40 of them so far. with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. Like the Twilight Thorn. On your journey, you I'm sure we can do that. You will number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. I'm sure. Yep, Still, there are no friendly there are dusks. nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... So not all that dangerous, right? Until you find these assholes. And what the are these? You see they look frightening. You now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed mm -hmm. a group called they're Organization scary. 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. So they're nobodies. Organization powerful 13. nobodies. And Axel is one of them. Roxas was also one. While yep, they don't remember it, but Sora does. He's heard about them before. Function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are intelligent, cold, calculating. Goal. What that goal is, we do not But what not that goal know. may be? The king. Man, you are full of lack danger, of information. You know that. And journeyed forth to fight it. He found the dark realm's keyblade. Wonderful. And that's helpful. Close to the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, oh, nice. fighting the heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess well, I'm we good at riddles. I'm sure I can help first. out. Where can but we find him? Well, we Sounds like a plan. We look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is. Exactly. Because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we I'm sure he has door. some idea. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you of course he could tell you that Riku's dead. Clothes. Those look a bit too small yeah. for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Or Sora, you sure are. Going I think fast. we could use that. Uh, I guess. Yeah, Sora's getting kind of tall. <laughs> He was kind of asleep for about a year. Well, guys. We have a bit of a backstory. We now know what nobodies are and why they're important. We also have some idea of what's up with Organization 13. And we know that next episode, three good fairies, of, where, of which there could only be one set that I can think of, three good fairies are going to give us a new set of clothes. So we can look forward to that. We need to look a little bit more dashing for our adventure. But that's going to wait until next time. For now, I'm going to save, and I will leave you here. I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta.